Hey guys, Luke here, and I'm here to do a video. I just can't over super coach and my super coach league that I'm inviting you all to do. I'll give you the the code number uh, in a second. Uh, so go into leagues and we'll just go straight into it. So um, here's the league. It's three five five four five five, and that is the the code that you need to join. Um, to join, so you just go here and you say. I was invited to join a league, and then you write in that code, and then you should be able to join. It's a private one. I think there's 20 odd spaces um, in it. But um, let's go through the team that I've picked. Now this is subject to change according to lineups and all that sort of stuff. And I've picked one. I do have a lot of um, space. You can see I've got over 120,000 left, so I can change a fair bit. Um, we'll start off with the backs. Now I've gone for Will Hopwadi. I did originally have Ben Barber there. Now I've changed my mind because he's going to be playing 5-8. And I don't know how he's going to go at 5'8". So I went for Hopawati, who was okay last year in centre, but he's going to be way more involved this year at fullback. So I think he's a good spot. And his backup is Lachlan Coote, who you know, he speaks for himself. He's a good player when fit, um, just never really fit. But 143,000, uh, it's a steal for him, really. Move on to the swingers and centres. So Josh Jackson was a, um, a centre in this game, I think, because he, he played like a few games at centre last year. But so um, he was in there. Mannering is usually my go-to, but um, he's not there at this stage. So end up going for Jackson. Um, went for Gerard Bill as well because at the Dragons, he wasn't in the greater side, but he's still got enough points to be, to be worth that much. So I'm thinking in a better side with the Sharks, he should be going a lot better and should get some get a few points. I'm not sure who I'm going to go with as my first choices, but uh, we have, then we have Lachlan Maranta. Um, I didn't have him originally. I wasn't sure who I was going to pick there. Had two of us a share, get a few different players, and I decided, to, like, w what's the point of buying, um, like paying huge dollars or whatever for two of us a when I don't know how he's going to go at fullback, um, and he's worth a lot. Um, but Moranta, I think he was, it seems like he's going to be in the Brisbane side on the wing. They've got a few injuries in the back line, but um, I expect him to properly play. If not, we'll just sw switch him out. It's not a big problem. We got Kahu here who. Um, is on the bench, but pro he'll probably be in the actual lineup because it looks like he's going to be end up playing uh, fullback due to Darius Point injury at least for a good period of time, um, and then we can swap him out eventually down the road. Ewan Aiken, um, everyone keeps talking him up, saying he's going to be in the Dragon side. Whether he is or not, I don't know, but uh, that's a pretty good price tag to to have him in there. And if he is, he'll rise a fair bit. And Bully, pretty much the same thing. I believe he's a definite in that uh, Dragon side. But we'll have to wait and see how these two go and see how much they rise. Uh, also, Josh Morris. Didn't talk about Josh Morris. Um, you should definitely get on him. He's worth barely anything because last year he played with an injury. Couldn't even run. So, therefore, tries were a minimum. Uh, therefore, points were a minimum. So, I'd say definitely get on Josh Morris if I was you. Moving on to the halves. I've gone with Thurston and Gareth Woodup. Thurston is just he's the best halfback um, for Supercoach. I think he m might be like the... Third, second, second best player in Supercoach, followed by Gallon and Parker, which I both got, um, and then Merrin's there as well. But yeah, um, but Thurston, great player. You need to have him in the side. Five A. I wasn't really sure who to go with. I ended up picking Gareth Widdop. There's a fair few you can pick, but uh, Widdop was the one I f um, fell back on. I think due to the fact that he he played very well last year, and the side seems to be, you'd think they'd be a little bit better this year. Like if not, like he's better, but. You know, Gareth Woodup's going to be a good um, a good buy because he was performing in a shit side. So if they do get on a roll at some point during the season, then he should just go to even like, more points. Um, the backups went for Jackson Hastings. I believe that he's going to be getting the hooker roll to start off the season. It's just there because he's cheap and, you know. And then Thomas Lulloy. I'm assuming he might get the 5 8 spot. I really don't know who's going to get the 5 8 spot for um, the Warriors, but he's just there temporarily for now, um, if not permanent. Moving on to the second row, probably our strongest part of the side. We've got Paul Gallen, we've got Corey Parker, the two best forwards in um, Supercoach. Uh, and I originally did have Trent Merrin, but I changed him out for Elijah Taylor. Uh, I think Elijah Taylor will probably go pretty well. Um, he had his first season at the Warriors and uh, at the Penrith Panthers, and I look for him to go even better. But it may change in the future, um, or before the season starts, I should say. Depends on who's in the team lineups, really. Uh, Glenn Stewart, though, I think he's a must-buy. Um, he has been injured quite a lot recently, but he's been getting uh, having some pretty good performances for the Rabos, uh, and he's very cheap, so get him in there. Denny Wicks, I'm not really sure about Denny Wicks. I don't know if he's going to be playing or not, but uh, I thought he was worth throwing in there for now, at least, um, 
if he's not in the side, well then we'll swap him out for someone else. Jack Bird, same. I don't know if he'll be playing. I, I suppose that also depends on GR Bill as well, because I think Jack Bird wants a centre spot, but we'll have to wait and see. Things will probably end up changing before the end of the season. Um, but I thought I'd get in, get in ahead of time and um, get the league done, and so you can all join if you want. Moving on to front rowers, I went for James Graham, Tim Grant. Um, probably will change in the future. Uh, James Graham, he's, he's a must-have for me. Um, he, he's a lock-in. Tim Grant, I'm not really sure. I assume he'll probably be one of the props. Uh, sorry, one of the starting props with George Burgess. I'm not really sure, but um, but I think 196 for him. Good price. Um, Pampers really ruined him last year, but I think he'll come good this year. Moving on to the bench with David Clemmer and this Greaves, Greaves Marl or something. But he seems to be pretty good. Went good in the nines. Went good in all the preseason games. Looks to be a good buy. Um, Clemmer, pretty cheap for an Australian international. That's due to limited game time. But I'd like to think that he would get more game time this season. Um, you know, that's his, that was his first full season last year. So hopefully he can uh, step up and get us some more points. Uh, hookers. Did have Cameron... Oh, sorry. I would have had Cameron Smith there, but... He's uh, injured for the start of the season. So we had Robbie Farrar. And then I decided, mm, no, nah, not really. Don't really want Robbie Farrar. Read the little guide in the, um, from the paper that came out on the 2nd. Sorry, 28th. Um, and Seguiaro, they said he's he's got the ratings of a 63. But he, only, he was only playing like half a game. Or maybe not half a game, but he wasn't playing the full game. Um, towards like for the most part of the season, but then when he started playing the full game, he, he went up to about eighty points, which is more than like any of the other hookers. So depending on if like, Coruscant or someone's on the bench, we'll go with Sergio. But if if he's going to be playing like uh, limited minutes or whatever, then we'll switch it back to Robbie Farrar because it's not a big deal in a uh, price difference. And we've also got Michael Leacher, um, who's another one who I think you should get. Looks like he'll be playing the full 80 at the Bulldogs. 211,000 will definitely rise. Probably end up in the 300,000s by the end of the season if everything goes to plan as a Bulldogs supporter. But, uh, yeah, that's that's uh, all I've got to show you. So, um, hopefully, we go pretty well. Once again, I'll show you how to get into the leagues. you got your little code. I'll leave it in the description and in the comments and all that. But there's the code, 355455. So, pretty easy to remember. Um, there is 20-something spots, 20 spots. I think there's like 19 rounds or whatever. I don't know if we'll fill it. Probably won't fill it, but you know what? It'll just get filled anyways. But um, yeah, let's see. Thank you for watching. Hopefully, you have enjoyed it. Hopefully, you can drop a like. And um, yeah, make sure you subscribe to my channel. Follow me on Twitter, Mr. Luke on YT. Um, go on my Facebook page, like me there. Um, just Mr. Luke. It's listed as an entertainer or something. And, um, yeah, I'll keep you updated on Supercoach, and I'll probably do another video going over my actual Supercoach side, but, yeah, we'll do that at a later date. So, um, thank you for watching, guys, and I'll see you next time.